Kaiba, the other well-backed runner in the race, ruining her chance at the start when she dwelt badly in the stalls and lost at least six lengths. So uh, she has run officially, Honest Wings run fourth, Mr Kaiba's run fifth, and Recitals has run sixth, and they have recorded 112.2. And there she is, she's missed any chance she had by that faulty start, stumbled out of the stalls. Pardon? Just seemed to rear in the air as the gates open. We might just have another look at it with yeah, you. Yeah, let's have another look. Um, drawn about barrier six, I think. There's and Bewilder coming back to scale. Now, here we go. You just see now, is that up in the air? Yep. Yeah. It's almost yeah, You can't afford to do that well. in short races, can you? No. Just found another way for us to get beaten. It's easy, Rod. <laughs> We've had plenty of practice. My word. Well, <laughs> At least we is. can still laugh about it, I suppose. Well, I don't know so much about that. I'm not laughing, are you? Well, <laughs> you're not, not going to do any good to cry now, is it? I suppose not. Yeah, righto. There you have them. Another way, as you say, Rod of here you can get beaten. Bewilders won it. And here she comes back to scale. Blazing Aura's run second, Permay's run third. As we are just about to wrap up proceedings here, we'll give you all the tote figures here. 390, 184, Bewilder number two, number 10, Blazing Aura, pays 330, and number one, Per May at $2.60, Quinella $32.30, Exacta $51.70, the Trifecta $286.30, $286.30, the straight six did not go off here at Mooney Valley this afternoon. Uh, we look forward to being with you through the week with Seymour Cup Day on Tuesday next, a great program, first of eight races, 12.55. The Werribee Cup meeting on Wednesday, of course, Yarraglin Thursday, and four wonderful days of racing from headquarters at Flemington with the opening day of the carnival next Saturday. Um, the big event, of course, being the Amy Victoria Derby, a star-studded program, nine races, and you might come down on Tuesday week, Rod, and help me with the course of ten races at Flemington, maybe. Oh, gee, I'd love to, John, but I think I'm going to be tied up here uh, as much as I'd like it. Uh, John, uh, it's been a, well, it's been a, a good carnival at Mooney Valley, obviously, and it can only uh, get better now as we get to the uh, to the big one uh, or the big ones uh, next weekend. Got an early thought on the derby at this stage? I like a tie the knot at this stage. Yeah, you're you're the swinging to, to the Sydney horses, eh? Well, I've got to. There's not many <laughs> representing Melbourne in the race, actually. <laughs> what did you think of Gold uh, Guru's run on Saturday? I thought it was a very good run. The time was good. I, I suppose he'd have to be considered some sort of a chance. But uh, I was more... Uh, you know, impressed by the, the efforts of Ty the Knot and, uh, and Brave Prince in that race uh, at Caulfield, the Norman Robinson. I thought they were both very good runners. Encounter, well, there's a slight doubt whether or not he'll run in the race. Oh, I, and, I, uh, you wouldn't think he could win a derby, would you? He, he couldn't run the distance uh, I doubt Saturday. he could run the distance. Uh, Schubert, uh, Larry Cassidy, uh, said not to uh, worry about his run yesterday. They, he thought it was a good derby trial. Well, he did uh, take off before course. acceptances. He did. He did indeed. But, uh, well, it'll be a very interesting race as always. And, of course, that's a star-studded cast there on Saturday next with those nine races. Actually, I think John uh, Schubert and Encounter, they probably flushed Jimmy Cassidy out a bit earlier than he wanted to on Falante. Well, it upset not only Jimmy, but a few other jockeys in the race. You know, they were caught sort of napping a little bit, I suppose. And, mm. and, and uh, you know, it changed the whole complexion of the race, didn't it, with that yeah. move by Larry? Yeah, well, you know, uh, you'd think that... Uh, uh, Larry and uh, Shane might have thought they were on our Waverley Star and Bone Crusher and they weren't. Yeah, that's right. And, and of course, I, I tell you what, the good run in the race was that of Viali. Oh, what um, a... What a and, and with a one-run preparation, it was quite yeah, outstanding. And Moss Downs was a good run in it too. Yeah. Yes. Um, they, they were a couple that I had doubts about and, um, well, we were proved uh, well and truly wrong. Anyway, great triumph for Bart Cummings and... Uh, Another triumph for you today, John. A great day of calling at the Valley. Thank you, Rod. And, uh, well, as I say, we look forward to being with you next Tuesday next. And I'll sign off here. I might take the top off one and uh, look forward to seeing him on Tuesday. Oh, have one for me. Johnny Russell there, uh, the voice of Melbourne Racing on Sky uh, on...